Okay, I'm here at HP Discover and I'm joined by Rick to have a chat about Project Newstack. I've had a good look around the show floor and I think this is the thing that's excited me the most. That's great um, to hear. Hybrid Cloud, I think one of the challenges is managing potentially so many different parts to it sure. and an overall tool which could enable you to orchestrate that. And I believe that's what the aim of Project Newstack is. You're right, one of our key objectives, a couple of key objectives with the new stack project, which is still a project that will be uh, evolving into product form sometime in the future. One of the key things, a couple of the key things we're trying to do, one is really embrace hybrid. In other words, really embrace development teams actually using public cloud sure. to create applications, in addition to creating and maintaining applications running on private clouds, which you hope are obviously running in HP hardware. So that, that's a that's a big move, if you will, for us to, to to step outside of our private cloud comfort zone and and really strongly embrace hybrid. For example, in that vein, I'm showing you right here. <clears throat> this is a demo of an Insights dashboard that we're developing as part of Project Newstack. Where okay. you can see here down below, we're collecting data that your development teams are generating based on their consumption of resources in Azure, in Amazon in Google, but we're also feeding into this system metering and consumption data for what developers are doing in on-premise private clouds, whether it's uh, a VMware uh, built out private cloud, or it could be an OpenStack private cloud as well, or we also like containers as a service, so Kubernetes running on VMware, or maybe running on OpenStack, or in the future running on bare metal. So we want to show you what you're doing on-premise and off-premise. The other thing we're trying to do to sort of uh, make this game interesting to IT folks as well as the development teams is the on-premise private clouds, running on Synergy hardware, for example. Yep. We want to make them like incredibly easy to deploy and maintain. A lot of the headache with private clouds today is the complexity of managing the hardware, the cloud platforms, and all of their maintenance and, and continued lifecycle management. So we're driving Project New Step stack in a direction of what we call no ops, or some people call it zero ops. So over time, the ability to make it extremely simple to maintain racks of hardware running your on-premise private clouds, which will give your IT folks to some degree uh, sort of a, a, a compare with public clouds, because they don't spend a whole lot of time doing management and maintenance in, in public cloud spaces. We want to bring the same kind of experience based on automation, based on our analytics and our and more proactive remote support features we're developing to enable HP per personnel or um, automated software to kind of really manage the on-premise uh, private cloud deployment. Cool, is it possible we could have a quick demo looking at maybe how we'd add a, a cloud provider and the kind of things it would give us in terms of cost control? Sure, yeah. So one of the key things we're doing is offering this management software service as a SaaS-based offering. So this is a SaaS-based portal. This, this is a mock environment of a demonstration that we're hosting out of HPE uh, right now. And, and that will be the, the primary way we offer this software when we get Project New Stack into product form uh, some, sometime in the future. Okay. So you interact with our system either through UIs or APIs that are exposed as a hosted service. Okay. So let's go over here to the menu and let's let's go to the providers tab. In in this in this mock environment, I've connected to Amazon, I've connected to Azure, mm -hmm. and I've also we're also working on integrations with the, the array of, of service providers that are that are together under the Cloud 28 um, partner program. So we have we're going to have an ability to connect to various providers that are there as well. Over here on the right on the right, if I click the plus the plus side, you have an ability to basically onboard more enterprise accounts in Azure, new enterprise or more enterprise accounts in Amazon. But you also have the ability to onboard a new Synergy appliance that you're running in some data center and bring that into Project Newstack as well. Okay. So, yeah, it's, it's intended so it's like to be- hardware and software, essentially. Correct. So, you remember we're, we, we want to make on-premise private clouds extremely easy to set up and manage. Yeah. A key way to do that is to deliver ready-made hardware configurations in the form of appliances. Once those appliances show up at a customer site, they can basically connect them so that they that they can call out uh, to the internet, contact the SaaS-based service, and appear as a new uh, on-premise uh, cloud 
uh, sort of cloud yep. uh, resource pool. And I saw a screen there regarding cost control and some performance statistics. Sure. Is that correct? Yeah, let, let's go back there. So I'll, I'll, I'll back out of the, uh, the providers area and we'll go to the insights dashboard. So you see in the insights dashboard our ability to kind of show you how much you're spending this month to compare that to previous month's spend. And we break down that spend between all the cloud platforms or the cloud providers that are currently integrated, whether it's public clouds like um, Amazon, here or Azure, here. We also are doing cost modeling and, and metering to show you what your consume and spend is for your on-premise environment. So this is showing you one of those appliances running at a data center that's, is, that's here as well. Is the aim with that to sort of move in a policy-based direction as well, so you could set cost limits and targets and that kind of thing? That's exactly right. So we're sort of in a crawl, walk, run roadmap with Project Newstack in the analytics space. So in the crawl phase, we're able to bring you all the data um, so you can see utilizations, and we're also bringing cost data for public clouds, and with cost modeling of on-premise usage, we're bringing that to compare as well. Over time, you'll see us add the ability to make recommendations and suggestions and, and give you insights into what it is you should be doing about your current consumption and your current spend. Okay, thanks very much for your all time. Right. You Cheers. Bet. Thank you.